Hey everybody, it's Kay, and I'm here with a the Trend Mood box. This is volume 26, so let's see what's in here. Now, this box is not, it's not monthly, it's not quarterly, it's just when they have a box ready and then they notify you if you're on their email chain. So, the cost of it is, for me, this was $58.90. So, let's see what's in here. comes beautifully wrapped like this. And then it also has, um, it's, it's really packed well. So it has the nice bubble wrap in there. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull out what I see. This is the Vacation Brand Orange jelly and what this is this is an spf 30 uh suntan or sun uh, gel sunscreen and this is a 23 dollar value it's um balm to orange i'm sorry balm to oil and it's a French Riviera icon. So apparently this has been around a while, but I wasn't familiar with it. You have to, um, it has one of these kind of taps where you have to stab it. Okay. This smells pretty so far. It's a uh, metal tube. I really can't get it out very easily. Okay, there's the color of it. Okay, it smells nice. And it is definitely sort of oily on the skin. I don't know. I'm sure it works fine. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't normally like oily stuff on me as much as if I'm gonna use sunscreen, I want a cream instead of that. So we'll see what happens with it. We'll leave it, we'll leave it just a little bit and see. Okay, first item. Okay, the next item is by Give Beauty. This is the Gwen Stefani brand, okay? And this is the I'm Still Here Lightweight Long Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Original Recipe. I did not have this. I had looked at getting it several times. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. Now this is a true red color, so um, and there's what it looks like too. Really nice packaging. We'll give it a shot. Let's see what it, the color looks like. That's definitely red. Okay. Mm, it has a nice cake batter type of smell. There it is. So that may be a little too red for me. I may have to blot it, but um, I'm okay with that because I this is the, the kind of red I like. So I'm happy to have that. There it is again. And this is a uh, $24 product. Okay. So then we have a couple of products from NYX. Okay. So what they sent is they sent two of these NYX fat oils here. Okay, they're in the shade Sprinkle Sprinkle and Chillin' Like a Villain. And I think this is the Sprinkle Sprinkle one here. And this is the Chillin' Like a Villain here. Okay, that's nice to get two of these. We're gonna see, put them over on this other 
uh, other hand. Okay. We don't have a smell. This is one of them. I think this is the this is the sprinkle sprinkle. Ooh, that's a nice color. Here's the sprinkle sprinkle here. This is the chillin' like a villain. And there's that one there. Well, those are both colors that I would like. So let's read what I, I looked up about this. Okay, so each of these are $9. And what you do is the cream, it's a creamy lip gloss with a high shine finish, non sticky. Um, cloud, it has cloudberry oil, rab, raspberry oil, squalling, and it's supposed to keep your lips hydrated for 12 hours. So that's neat. I have, I've never heard of this before, so I'm happy to have a chance to try that. Okay, NYX provided one more product in here, which is the, uh, the brow glue here. And this is a uh, $10 product, okay? Uh, open this one. Now I tend to use a brow tint more than I'm going to use a brow gel. And I'd say this would probably give us a little bit more staying um, power. I don't really have as much trouble with that with my eyebrows, but I definitely could see myself using this especially if it's not a really uh, crunchy one. I like a really natural feel. So that would be the kind I would like the best. So I'm gonna have to try it out and see if that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I need all these things in here. There's something about the sunscreen. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So this is about R and R. This is the next product. There's um, there's actually here it is. This is neat. I've never heard of this brand. Okay, so what this is, this is a vegan, cruelty-free, sustainable packaging give back uh, product, and it improves skin moisture and softness. Uh, and it's nourishing. It has an antioxidant rich formula that contains powerful uh, plant based antioxidants that may help fight uh, against free radicals. It's formulated with aptogens which help adapt to modern stress uh, stressors of the skin and it's fragrance free. So this is a, a $28 product and it also supports collagen production and, and hydrates the skin and it's lightweight. It's a lightweight moisturizer. Wow, that's a lot of information about that. Um, I'm always happy to have a lightweight moisturizer and especially a gel one because I have combo skin, which is um, a little, tends to be a little bit oily here and there during the summer. So I am really happy to give this a try. Okay, it does have a little safety seal. This is what the prop, the thing looks like. Okay, so over here where we had the oil, it's still oily. So again, I prefer the cream. Again, this, this does not have a fragrance like it said. And it feels really nice. So the thing for me is gonna be, does it sink into my skin? Because sometimes, um, because I have combo skin, things just sit on top of it and I, I can't stand that to have just like a, a oil sitting on my skin because um, it, it's just, it's, 
it's just messy and it it's it's just telling me that's not a good one for me so anyway we'll see what happens here I think it's gonna be nice based upon what I feel so far with that so I'm happy to have that one so then this is really nice here um, this is the uh, Maison Louis Marie number 14 perfume okay and it comes in a nice box Look at that, how nice is that? And so this is a $93 product. Yep, let's say 1.7 fluid ounce product. Okay, let's see if we can get it out of here. Okay, it doesn't want to come. Okay, got it out. Okay, there it is. Ooh, smell that. Mmm, this smells nice. $93. That's really a nice, uh, that's a nice amount. That's probably uh, one of the more expensive items I've ever gotten in this box. So what this is, this is a warm floral uh, perfume and it has, a, so it says that the key is jasmine, Bulgarian rose, and vanilla flower. The top note is ruby, papal mouse, or papal mousse, mandarin leaf, and jasmine. The heart is dark plum, vanilla, and sakura, uh, sakura blossoms. The base is sultry woods and sweet floral blossoms. Okay, I smell a lot of that in here, and it's very nice. And I'm happy to have it. I'm very happy to have this. That's a good one. This is a this is a good box. So, and this is never a surprise. I mean, they, they give you an idea of what you're going to get or what you could get. Because I didn't get the, the volume 25 because it just didn't appeal to me. Okay, so two other items in here. Um, the KVD Tattooed Liner. And I may have this already. Uh or have had it in the past. And this is, okay, this is the liquid liner in black. So I'm always happy to have this because, let's see here. Okay, it's a little bit thicker, but that's okay. There it is right there. And where I'm going to put this is on the top lash line. So I have had um, also the cream one from this brand, and I like them. So this is a this is a good one too. So this product is a twenty-five dollar product. Okay. So the last one in here, and so before I do this, I'm going to get some of these other things off of me because I want to have uh, it's an eyeshadow palette, and I want to try some of them out. Let's see how these things did. So this is the, I'm still here. Okay. Now it did come off when I actually, uh, now it did look like it probably would have set more if I'd left it longer. Um, and then that also gives you an idea of the, the different color. Like if you put on less and blotted it, it would be. So that was the Gwen Stefani thing. And I mean, I think it has decent staying power. Okay, the moisturizer did settle in. Um, the sun, the sun gel did. It never. It, it stayed on top of the skin, basically. Um, these sort of rubbed off. Those were the uh, the lip gels. Okay, so I think there's more than one star item in here. It's really hot still. <laughs> Um, and this is a good one right here. This is by Natasha Denona, and this is the Xenon pa a Palette. This is an eyeshadow, and this is a $69 product. Now, it does have a, it's black, and so it seems to get little footprints on it. I'm not footprints, but fingerprints. Okay, I'm trying to get that off. So, what you can't really see very well, 
now you can see it maybe a little bit, is the sparkles and the specks. And it's on the back like that too. Okay, look at that. That is really pretty already. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. And here it is. Look at that. So at first you're thinking, okay, maybe these are too dark. Um, maybe there's, they're too, too black. But what intrigued me about this palette is I've actually seen people use it and it wasn't so dark. And also look at all these light colors. So I tend to wear, and it has a nice mirror too, by the way. Um, I tend to, to wear a light color. Um, I prefer the light colors. But what I liked about this is these were sort of, these were colors I didn't have. So it looks a little silvery. It's here. So let's go ahead and let's try some of these things because I'm interested to see what they look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them. So there's five, uh, there's 15 palettes here. So we're gonna do the top row first. Ooh, boy, lots of color payoff here. Okay. This is the top row here. So what am I seeing here? Um, I don't know. That one is really dark. So I, would, I could use it in the corner. Here. There that is again. So this is from the top, uh, the, the left or the right on that. So that's pretty. All right, well, let's try the next row. And these are, these have got some dark ones and also a pinky one. So let's see what this looks like. I think, yep, the first one's blue, which I thought it would be. I really enjoy using this, I think. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, this is the second row here. And so this one is blue. This is a really pretty color. And this is the pinky one here. So that's really pretty. All right, let's try the last row. I'm gonna put it over on the other hand. So I really think I'm gonna get some use out of this. Um, and I'm glad that it has so many lighter colors with it. This is what it looks like on my fingers. Really high color payoff. Okay. So these are a little bit, these are a little bit lighter and that's okay. So even the, no, I don't like the gray one as much. Let's try it again, because these were lighter. Some of these are matte, some of them are shimmer. I have to tell you, I have really, I've never been disappointed by palettes from this brand. They're, it's a real treat when you get to one of these in the box. Okay, there it is again. Look at that, just beautiful, beautiful colors. Especially like this one on the very end. Look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. So there was the first part of it, first two rows. And then there's the second row there. That's really nice. I really am happy with this. Okay, so that's a good one. We'll be playing with it. And so anyway, this box is actually a $290 value. And there were some pretty high priced things in this box between uh, this perfume here, or this perfume, and this. This were some pretty high priced items. So um, this is a good box. And to spend uh, 58, almost $59 and get $290 worth of product, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna say that um, of the boxes that I've gotten from this brand or from this, this service, um, I think I've probably gotten 
at least seven of them. And this is by far the best box. So I'm really happy to get this. So anyway, thank you for stopping by and have a great day.